pleasure to have you here today, okay. specifically about the challenges okay. that I heard the leader express. And one of the greatest challenges we face. We are looking at an extraordinary moment in the history of our nation and our democracy when the United States Supreme Court took a constitutional right that had been recognized from the women of America. That alone is so deeply harmful to our nation that prides itself on being a defender of freedoms and liberty, the very principles upon which we were founded. It must be understood that on this subject, we are not asking anyone to compromise their beliefs or abandon their faith. We are simply saying the government should not be in the position, nor should the government have the power to replace its beliefs for those of the woman. I think we all know and applaud our president for saying he will not allow the filibuster to get in the way of doing what is necessary in that regard. And short of then, what happens in terms of recognizing that the court has acted, now Congress needs to act. They got it through the House, now we need the votes in the Senate. And the President and I have been very clear, we need two, we need, of all these Senate races, we need two more. And Pennsylvania can help contribute to that, which will directly determine the outcome of this issue in terms of putting into law the rights of women to make decisions about their own body. So I would urge everyone to pay attention to the Senate race here in Pennsylvania. I know I'm personally supporting John Fetterman, and I'd urge everybody else to do the same.